Welcome to Japan English News Quick Scan. Today's headlines. Okinawa considers COVID-19 pre-emergency measures as new infections top 600. The Okinawa prefectural government confirmed 623 new coronavirus cases Wednesday, more than 2.5 times the figure logged the previous day prompting the governor to consider stronger measures to slow the spread of COVID-19. Okinawa Governor Deni Tamaki told reporters he intends to ask the central government Thursday to place the prefecture under COVID-19 pre-emergency status. Toyota surpasses GM to take U.S. sales crown for first time. Toyota Motor Corporation grabbed the U.S. sales crown from General Motors Company swiping an honor that the Detroit automaker has held since Herbert Hoover was president. If GM's explanation is to be believed, that its 43% fourth quarter sales decline and 13% tumble for the year stemmed from a semiconductor shortage, then last year's sales race was really a supply chain pageant. Whoever could best cajole stretched chip producers for more product came out a winner. Record low 2,626 traffic-related deaths reported in Japan in 2021. The National Police Agency, NPA, said in a report released Tuesday that the number of fatalities from traffic accidents in Japan in 20,121 was 2,636. This is a decrease of 203 deaths from 2020. It's also the lowest number since 1948 when officials began compiling statistical data. The NPA attributed the decrease in traffic fatalities to improvements in vehicle safety technology and increased awareness of safe driving after a series of car accidents caused by elderly drivers. Sony looks to electric cars for its next big hit. Japan's Sony Group Corporation plans to launch a company this spring to examine entering the electric vehicle market, looking to harness its strengths in entertainment and sensors to play a bigger role in next-generation mobility. The new company, Sony Mobility Incorporated, comes as the Japanese tech giant is exploring a commercial launch of electric vehicles, Sony chairman and president Kanetiro Yoshida told a news conference, speaking ahead of the CES Technology Trade Fair in the United States. Tiger attacks three workers at Tokigi Safari Park. A tiger attacked three workers at a safari park north of Tokyo on Wednesday, with all three taken to hospital, local police and the park operator said. At least one of the keepers was bitten by the 10-year-old male Bengal tiger, which is 3 meters in length and weighs 150 kilograms, and was transported by a medical helicopter, according to the authorities. All of the workers were conscious when hospitalized. North Korea fires apparent ballistic missile in first launch of 2022. Nuclear-armed North Korea fired an apparent ballistic missile into the Sea of Japan, on Wednesday for its first test launch of the year, Japan and South Korea said. The South Korean military said the test appeared to be of a single ballistic missile, the first since the North fired off a new submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, in October. Seoul said the missile had been fired from a site in North Korea's northern province of Jigang, which borders China. China reports major drop in virus cases in lockdown Xin. China on Wednesday reported a major drop in local COVID-19 infections in the northern city of Xin, which has been under a tight lockdown for the past two weeks that has tested the city's ability to provide supplies for those confined to their homes. With the Beijing Olympics beginning February 4, China is doubling down on measures to prevent any new outbreak that could affect proceedings. 211kg bluefin tuna fetches $145,000 at Tokyo Market's first auction of year. The most expensive bluefin tuna fetched 16.88 million yen, about $145,000 in the first auction of 2022 at Tuosu Market in the capital's Koto Ward early on the morning of January 5. The 211kg tuna was caught off the northern Japan town of Oma, Aomori Prefecture, and the price was equivalent to 80,000 yen, approximately $690, per kilogram. Japan Australia to sign security cooperation pact. 
Japan and Australia are set to sign a treaty to strengthen bilateral defense and security cooperation at a virtual summit on Thursday. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced in a statement on Wednesday that he and Japanese Prime Minister Kishida Fumio will sign a reciprocal access agreement. The pact will set the framework for the handling of weapons and ammunition and the response to unexpected incidents and accidents. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow.